it has been observed that Jupiter is experiencing a heat wave with a magnitude of 10 Earths. It had a diameter of 130,000 kilometers, or around 80,000 miles, reaching temperatures of 700 degrees Celsius, or almost 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, and traveled at speeds of up to 2400 meters per second, or just under 8,000 feet per second, when it departed from Jovian's North Pole. This, scientists argue, may explain why the largest planet in our solar system is far hotter than expected. The polar regions of Jupiter, which are illuminated by constant auroras, may be the source of the extra energy that has caused the gas giant to reach temperatures far above those predicted by science alone. This extreme heat is likely the result of a combination of a strong solar wind and Jupiter's magnetic field. Around 50 years ago, in the 1970s, scientists first noticed that Jupiter's atmosphere seemed off. In comparison to Earth's distance from the Sun, Jupiter is around five times farther away. Due to its extreme distance from the Sun, it only gets 4% of the sunlight that reaches Earth. The average temperature of its upper atmosphere should be around minus 73 degrees Celsius or minus 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Instead, it's roughly 420 degrees Celsius or 788 degrees Fahrenheit. This necessitates the existence of further activity on Jupiter and last year's publication of the first heat maps collected by O'Donohue and colleagues, provided a possible explanation. Invisible to the naked eye, Jupiter is home to the brightest auroras in the solar system. Moreover, we know that auroras on Earth contribute significantly to the warming of our own atmosphere. In the same way as charged particles, magnetic fields and molecules in Earth's atmosphere combine to create auroras, so do they on Jupiter. They also feel extremely strange to us. The auroras we see on Earth are caused by particles carried here by the solar wind. They are unpredictable and dependent on the erratic stimulation. Io, Jupiter's moon, is the most volcanic object in the solar system and is always spewing sulfur dioxide, which is what causes the planet's auroras to glow permanently. It showers into Jupiter's atmosphere after forming a torus of plasma around the planet, which is guided to the poles by magnetic field lines. Previous heat maps of Jupiter showed hotspots just below the auroral oval, implying there was some kind of relationship between the two. But then things took an intriguing turn. O'Donohue and his colleagues found that just because Io has a role in the aurora, it doesn't rule out the sun's role in the phenomenon. A dense solar wind slammed into the gas giant just as scientists were making studies of Jupiter and its odd temperatures. The consequence was an increase in the auroral warmth, as measured by the scientists. The expansion of the hot gas caused the heat wave to burst out of the auroral oval and travel at high velocities thousands of kilometers per hour towards the equator. That means, as it spread, it added a great deal of heat to Jupiter's atmosphere. Actually, several planets in the solar system, not only Jupiter, are warmer than they should be. The surface temperatures of Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus are hundreds of degrees higher than can be expected by radiation from the Sun alone. None of the others have auroras as large as Jupiter's, but this discovery opens up a new line of inquiries that might help shed light on the mystery. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.